Hey, our friends, today we're gonna to be drawing a poinsettia. Yeah, we hope you get to follow along with us. You need a marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah! Are you ready to start? Yes. Now, poinsettia is really just a lot of leaves, and some of them are red, and some of them are green. So we're first gonna start by just drawing a few leaves. So we'll start in the middle, and I'm just gonna draw a leaf that comes out like this, and then comes back in. And we're gonna draw them really, really pointy. And we checked to see if a poinsettia is a flower. It's yeah. modified leaves. Yeah, they're, they're just red leaves, but it looks like flower, doesn't it? Yeah. Now we're gonna draw another one that comes out and looks just like the first one, but I'm gonna draw it over here off to the side. Oh, I like how big you're drawing yours. That's awesome. Then I'm gonna draw another one that comes out over here and then back in. This is gonna be really cool when we're all done. It's yeah. It's gonna look really pretty. Then we're gonna draw another one just repeating the same step, coming back. Now, it, let's draw a few more leaves, but th these are going to uh, overlap. So I'm just going to draw part of them in between the first ones that we drew. And we can do more down here. And also maybe in between this one. And then also, yeah, one up here at the top. Now in the center of the poinsettia, let's add a few ovals. Now these we're going to color yellow. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it over here and we're going to use a lot of overlapping. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a leaf or a petal that comes out off to the side. So this one I'm not going to use overlapping, but it's going to set up the rest of the, the petals or the flower so that we can do the overlapping. Now I'm going to do another one that comes out over here. This one's not really overlapping yet either, but if you need to at home, if your drawing's different, you can. Now this one I'm gonna overlap. So we're gonna imagine it going behind the other petals. I'm gonna pretend like it's coming out here. We're imagining it coming through and out. And then we're gonna come back. Imagine it go behind this petal, in between there, and then connect back down to where we started. That's really tricky, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you guys can pause it if you need to, to take time to finish that step. Now I'm gonna draw another one that comes off to the side. This one's gonna be overlapping behind all of these other petals down here and then connecting back in. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah. Now, but now let's add those in-between petals so we're, we're, or uh, leaves. So I'm gonna draw one down here, off to the side. I up here at the top, and this one we can just leave alone because it's behind the other one. All right, that looks really cool. Let's add those ovals in the center with the yellow part. Awesome, now let's do this one more overlapping. We're gonna do it over here on the left side. You don't have very much room, so maybe you could do it down here closer to the bottom. Okay. Now we also wanna leave room for a pot. We're gonna draw a pot at the very end. So I'm gonna draw my first petal or leaf coming out to the side. And then I'm gonna do another one coming down here, the bottom. Now this one, it's extremely important to remember. It's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Yeah. In fact, I'm sure they're gonna look a lot different. And that's okay because the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun. And to practice. And to practice, yeah. So I'm gonna draw more leaves. I'm gonna use overlapping. This one's maybe even a little smaller than the other ones we did. And then I'm gonna imagine this one, one more petal coming back underneath. Now on this one, I only drew four petals just like you, but let's add those in-between petals also. So we'll draw just the smaller V shape in between. Yeah. Oh man, it's looking so cool. All right, now on this one, I'm gonna add those little ovals in the center. Now this next part, let's fast forward, but let's repeat those same steps and add a few more leaves all over so it just looks bigger. Okay. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished our poinsettia, but these all, all of these petals or leaves are gonna be red. So let's add some leaves that we're gonna color green. Now these we can just draw off to the side. We don't have to draw them uh, clump together to look like a flower. We can just add them coming out of the side and It really doesn't matter where you put these you can just use your creativity and add them wherever you want on your drawing 
So let's fast forward one more time and add all of these cool leaves off to the side. Next, let's draw the pot that our poinsettia is planted in. So I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and also on the right, and they're coming towards each other at the very bottom. Small pot. Yeah, no, it looks good. Now let's connect the two lines at the bottom and I'm gonna use a curved line so that it looks more 3D. Ah, uh, it looks awesome, Jack. We did it, we finished drawing our poinsettia. It looks really cool. Now, we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Color it, it's gonna look even better all colored in. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Jack, you're doing a great job coloring your poinsettia. It looks awesome. Now, I have my drawing all colored in solid, but I'm gonna add some shading to make it look more 3D. I'm gonna use a dark green to add shadows on the, on the green leaves, and then I'm also gonna go back in with a black and a dark red to add shading on the red leaves, and also maybe even on the pot. Jack, give me five. You did awesome on coloring your poinsettia. It looks so cool, all finished. And we also added the shading to make it look even more 3D, but you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your poinsettia. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.